Hello everybody. Welcome to today's tutorial for remittance processing of cash applications challenge number five which is the manual processing of remittance advices. I'd like to give you an overview before we start. This tutorial is a continuation of the tutorial series related to the challenges associated with remittance processing. If you have not viewed the introduction tutorial, we recommend you do so. In the introduction, we listed 30 areas that our subscribers consider most challenging. So we created a remittance processing series that takes a closer look at each of these challenges in more detail. We are pleased to present this tutorial series and the specific challenges the accounting personnel responsible for managing cash applications process face on a daily basis. Our goal is to help readers navigate some of the more common aspects of the remittance process and guide those building the knowledge base to help them work through some of the challenges they may encounter. So today's learning objectives are always broken down into three parts. First, an introduction to the challenge, which in this case is manually processing a remittance. And then a self-assessment along with a survey that we obtain from our users. And then last but not least, process improvement approaches that you might consider for your organization. Today, many organizations have centers of excellence and shared service centers and others outsource their cash applications process to a third party. This adds to the challenge, of course. Unless the processes and procedures are well documented for all participants, it's likely that the posting and the processing methodology you use will have wide variations and include many manual process steps, which we are covering today, that take significantly longer to post cash and of course is more error prone. Now when a payment is received, the ideal situation would be to auto apply the payment to the correct account and invoice and clear it with no human intervention. That's the perfect world. However, the party posting the remittances today is often faced with a multitude of issues and decisions and accounting rules that they have to consider as they apply receipts manually to ensure that the funds are applied correctly and in a timely manner. 